In ancient China, during the Song Dynasty ruled by the Renzong Emperor, AD 101063, a group of 20 mercenaries was on a mission to find black powder. Unfortunately, they were chased by Khitan bandits, resulting in the death of some members. Psyching safety, they hid in a cave, but were then attacked by a mysterious monster, leaving only William and Tovar alive. William managed to cut off the monster's hand, and they decided to keep it. The next day, they stumbled upon the Great Wall and were captured by Chinese soldiers from a secretive group called the Nameless Order. This group was led by General Shao and strategist Wang. The commanding officers are surprised when they see the monster's severed hand, thinking the invasion was still weeks away. Suddenly, a swarm of monsters attacks the Great Wall, and the special units of the Nameless Order spring into action. Little did William and Tovar know that their quest for safety had led them to an unexpected encounter with a powerful military faction guarding the Great Wall. The Order is split into five unique units. Bear Troop for close combat, Crane Troop for acrobatics, Eagle Troop for archery, Tiger Troop for siege engines, and Deer Troop for mounted soldiers. The Nameless Order is a special Chinese military group formed by the Imperial Court of the Song Dynasty. Its sole purpose is to defend against alien monsters called the Taudi that emerge every 60 years. During the chaos, William and Tovar are rescued by Peng Yong, an inexperienced soldier from the Bear Troop. In return, William saves Peng Yong from the monsters. The battle is fierce, with losses on both sides. Eventually, the monster's queen recalls her drones, ending the immediate threat. General Shao and Commander Lin, leader of the Crane Troop, are impressed by their skills, earning the respect of the Nameless Order's leaders. Afterward, William and Tover encounter Sir Ballard, a fellow European who, like them, came to the East 25 years ago in search of black powder. Similar to the two friends, Ballard was captured and has since been serving as a teacher in English and Latin. The trio hatches a plan to steal black powder and escape while the soldiers are busy with the ongoing battle. Later, strategist Wang meets with William and provides more insight into the situation. He explains that the monsters William fought, known as Tauties, originated from a green meteor that crashed onto Gawu Mountain 2,000 years ago. According to Chinese belief, the Taoti were sent by the gods to punish the emperor for misusing his authority over the Middle Kingdom and its people. These creatures invade northern China every 60 years, and the Nameless Order has been preparing for their arrival throughout their lives. During the night, two Taoti sneak to the top of the wall, silently taking out watchmen. Xiao and Lin lead the deer soldiers to investigate, but are ambushed. Although they defeat the Tautias, Xiao is fatally wounded and dies, leaving Lin in charge of the Nameless Order. Around this time, an envoy from the capital arrives with an ancient scroll suggesting that magnets pacify the monsters. Wang believes the stone William has been carrying helped him defeat the Taoti outside the wall. To test the theory, William proposes capturing a Taoti alive and offers his help, delaying his escape plans. This decision creates tension with Tovar, who eventually puts aside his escape plans to assist William much to Ballard's displeasure. During the next attack, the Taotis become too numerous, leading Lin to reveal the secret existence of black powder rockets. They capture a living Taoti to test the magnet theory, confirming its effectiveness. The captured Taoti is then taken to the capital by the envoy. Not long after, a hole is found at the base of the Great Wall used by the Taoti queen to guide her hordes towards the capital. While Lin investigates, Tover and Ballard attempt to escape, knocking William out when he resists. Chinese soldiers arrest William, but despite Ping Yong's statement, he ends up imprisoned in the wall. Further away, Ballard betrays and deserts Tavar. However, Kitans capture Ballard, inadvertently causing an explosion that destroys them and Ballard when they accidentally ignite the powder. Tovar regains the horses but is recaptured by the deer troop. In the capital, the envoy plans to demonstrate their theory to the Song Emperor. However, the Taudi awakens and signals the Taudi Queen. Aware that the Horde is approaching the capital, Lin orders the use of unstable hot air balloons to track the Taudi. Before heading to Bianliang, the capital, Lin instructs to release William, with Wang urging him to warn the outside world about the impending danger. However, William chooses to stay and boards the last balloon with Peng and Wang. Arriving just in time, they witness Lin's balloon crash landing in the now-destroyed capital. They rescue her from impending danger and land safely in the Emperor's palace. Inside, Wang suggests a plan to kill the queen by attaching explosives to the captured Taudi and feeding its meat to the queen. While transporting the plan, a horde of Taudi breaches the sewers, and Peng sacrifices himself to save the others. 
With the Taudi unleashed, Lin, William, and Wang climb a tower to launch a black powder rocket and trigger the explosives. Unfortunately, Wang is killed while moving to the upper floors. Although two of William's arrows are deflected, Lin's spear breaks through the defenses after William throws the magnet into the horde. The queen is destroyed, and the remaining horde is frozen solid. With the threat eliminated, William is given a choice. Instead of choosing the powder, he opts to free Tovar, much to Tovar's irritation. Guided by cavalry, the two start their journey back to Europe. Lin, now the general, oversees them from the wall. Although William expresses a desire to return, he jokingly tells Tovar that he doesn't trust him to go alone. 